Hello, what is up? Welcome back to Lumos and today we are going to talk about tips. Pro tips that you should know about Wizards Unite. This is like the third tips video that I made but I keep finding new stuff about Wizards Unite so let's go. But before we get started on the video, let me give a big shout out for today's sponsor Amino. Amino is an app that features stories. Amino stories combine interest driven topics and a fun short form video format in a way that is unique to their platform. Their stories are usually shorter and faster paced than YouTube videos. As you guys can see this is my profile. I've only made one story but I'll make more because I'm going to be doing a big experiment here in Amino. And not only that, you can go to the discover page where you can find more stuff. K-pop, dogs, cars, everything that you need is probably in here. So if you guys are interested, just go to the link down below and you would be all good. Again, thank you to Amino for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get started with tip number one. So let me do that right now. It's about spellcasting. So when you are spellcasting, there are two things that you need to look out for. You have to look for its color and its swirls because that would tell you if you're going to get a successful cast or not. So let me do that again. So with a successful cast, you are supposed to get three swirls of magic. So let me show you that right now. Look at the, the swirls. So one, two, three, and when you get three, it should be a successful cast. But that's actually only part one. You should also look at the color of the swirls because that would also tell you if you're going to have a successful cast or not. So let me do that again. A yellow, yellow, yellow. When it goes very bright color, like bright yellow, bright violet, yeah, you can usually get that. But if the foundable is high threat level, you might see red streaks. And if you see red streaks, you should get nervous because red streaks are bad. So again, if you want to know if you're going to have a successful spell cast, just look for two things, the swirls and the colors. Usually people point out one or the other, but it's actually both. So let's look at it again. One, two, three, and there we go. And that actually brings me to another tip and it's in this screen right here. You usually skip this part because if you tap it, it would just skip to this uh, reward summary page. But did you know that you can actually scroll up? So if, let me do that right now. So here in the reward summary, just scroll up and you can go back to the uh, animation screen. You are going to want to do this if you want to see where you are in your family XP. So if you're in the screen like, huh, how many more Ministry of Magic foundables do I need? I don't remember and I do not want to go to the registry. So all you have to do is just swipe up and oh look, I'm at 70 out of 100. So I just need 30 more Ministry of Magic foundables. So this is a great tip. Also, you can check the XB bar with this scroll up method. So that's another tip. So for our next tip, it's about potions. You can't get enough potions. You always need them whether you're using Barufio's Brain Elixir, Extremola Potions, or Healing Potions. And if you're running out of potions, you can actually buy these potions in the Diagon Alley store. But that's not the tip. All of these potions, these slugs and jiggers, they're actually all bad deals. You know what's a better deal? It's when you go to the potions tab. So here is the tip. Assuming that you have all the ingredients needed for a potion, it is actually cheaper 
to speed up the process of brewing potions than to buy potions at the Diagon Alley store. So if you really, really, really need a potion and you do not have time to brew potions, all you gotta do is to just speed up the process. And while we are on the subject of potions, renting cauldrons is actually a great thing especially if you need to brew a lot of potions so if you do rent it you rent it for the time so you can get okay i was not supposed to do that i was not supposed to rent anything <laughs> so if you rent a gold cauldron sorry I did not expect doing that. I spent, what, 50 coins? <laughs> this is what happened. So I rented a cauldron, a gold cauldron, for three hours. And, okay, since we're here, that's great. I'm gonna use that. So I've rented that for three hours. But gold cauldrons are actually good deals because if you use gold cauldrons, brewing potions is 10% faster and that's actually a good deal because you can brew potions faster but the the trick is the tip is that you can actually go overboard that three hour limit so i have three hours what can i do with that so what i'm gonna choose is that i'm going to brew an extimula potion and then i'm gonna brew Barufio's brain elixir even though the time limit for the gold cauldron is just three hours It's gonna wait for your potions that you put in the cauldron to finish first before it expires So if we check the cauldron the timer for this cauldron is three hours I put a one hour and 26 minute extimula potion and then I put a uh, 10 hour and something something minute Barufio's brain elixir that is well over the three hour limit and if you see if I click another potion it would not let me because there's not enough time but you can still use longer brewing potions in this cauldron as long as it's in that time frame the three hour time frame here is another tip as you guys can see there is a dark detector in that green inn I'm gonna head there right now, but yeah, I know that nothing is going to happen. Dark detectors, they are bad right now, and I think it's a bug. I think they would fix it. So my tip for you is that you should not, not use dark detectors, at least not yet. Hoard them first, don't use them, and then when Niantic actually finally fixes dark detectors, that's when you use your dark detectors. So save your dark detectors and wait for the fix for these stuff because yeah they don't work at all let's do some fortress battles so my first tip is that you should choose the highest rune stone that you have to the highest chamber that you can manage that way you can get more challenge xp so right now i'm going to choose tower chamber to level 4 oddities rune stone that should give me good challenge xp all right so for the next step is about fortress battling or battling oddities so you know where you need to to point your pointer to the part right here yeah that's the one that i am talking about when you point that when you drag it and point your cursor do not let go just wait for the the next glyph to appear because a lot of people when they're pointing their cursor uh, they let go but you actually don't have to let go all you have to do is to just drag it out and then just wait and you don't have to lift your finger at all and and that would make your gameplay faster and more efficient because some people do it like this they point the cursor and then they let go and that would result to that red icon right there that means that you almost lost a spell energy because of that. So all you gotta do is to just hold it there, do not lift your finger, and do the trace. Very simple, but very, very effective. For our last tip is about Extimulo potions. You should definitely use them in wizarding challenges. 
so let me go all out here let me go to my highest chamber tower chamber 4 and use a level 1 ruby stone 1850 difficulty holy fish you should use your extimulo potions in wizarding battles because they actually give a bunch of multipliers in battling it would make your spell casting stronger but the info here is how many will it actually add so for the normal extimulo potion it would give you 1.5 times power for the strong extimulo potion it would give you 2.25 times power it's definitely better Ooh, critical hit yes don't forget to put on your skills and let's start okay and the potent extimula potion would give you 3.25 times of your power it's definitely more powerful now because recently they gave the extimula potions a big buff and there we go we cleared tower chamber 4 for the first time holy fish Ooh, all right that is it uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, thank you to Amino for sponsoring this video. That's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.